Well, thanks for that, Chase. I'm definitely feeling the cold out here. I think you can feel it, too. Oh, yes, It's a little chilly in here. <laughs> well, live in the studio with me is David. He is the director of the program at HEB for HEB's Feast of Sharing event. Thank you so much for being in our studio today. Thanks for having me. And so for people who aren't familiar with this event, tell us a little bit about what Feast of Sharing is. Well, the Feast of Sharing is a way for HEB to give back to the community and, and bring the community together for a holiday celebration. That's great. And so how are you able to do that? Well, we're going to feed about 6,000 uh, citizens here in the Odessa and the Permian Basin. Everyone's invited. Wow. So, you know, bring your umbrella and your jacket and uh, <laughs> come on out uh, tomorrow evening. It's going to be tomorrow evening, Friday, uh, okay. December 7th at the Hector County Coliseum, buildings D and E, mm -hmm. and it's from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. We'll be serving a, a full holiday dinner. Uh, we'll also have entertainment. Uh, in building E, we have a children's area where we'll have an appearance by Santa Claus. We have rolling video will be there. We mm -hmm. have face painting, cookie decorating, cotton candy, popcorn, just all kinds of fun events for the okay. entire family. So this is a full-on event. That sounds like so much fun. It's not just eating. I mean, there's, there's activities to do and fun events to participate in. How many people do you think are going to show up based on the trends from last, the last few years that you've done this? Well, we're hoping to have somewhere between five and 6,000 uh, folks okay. this year come out and enjoy the event. And so you said that there will be holiday meals provided. Correct. What kind of food will be there? It's going to be a traditional turkey dinner mm -hmm. with turkey and dressing, oh, green yum. beans, mashed potatoes, apple pie, the, the full serving. So come on in, have a seat. We'll, we'll bring the food to you, and it's just going to be a great event. Okay, so this is so cool, and especially around the holiday seasons. I mean, I'm used to seeing each HEB give back and other organizations um, give free meals to people. How does it make you feel to be a part of this? Well, just, you know, makes you feel good that we're able to, to bring the community together for mm -hmm. a holiday celebration, and that's really what the purpose of it is. So we invite, it's for everybody. Right. It's, everything is free. Uh, I forgot to mention, too, we also have uh, flu shots, free flu shots available. Oh, yeah. So if you haven't got them yet, now's the time to do it. Yes, that is so important. Chase talks about that flu monitor every day <laughs> right. because it's vital. It's definitely vital to get vaccinated and to protect ourselves from sickness, especially with these cold temperatures as well. Sure. Um, okay, so at this event, um, how big of an impact do you think it's had on the community so far, just in past years? Well, this is our 16th annual, and I think it's had a, a big event, mm -hmm. or, or big impact on the community. Um, every year we have plenty of volunteers. We've got about 400 volunteers, so uh, the community gets involved in it, and we just have a great event. All right, and so one more time, when is the event being held? What time is it being held at? And where can people find more information? It's available. It's, the event's going to be tomorrow night okay. at the Hector County Coliseum from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Buildings Perfect. D and E. And do you have a website or a page on Facebook where people can go for you, more detailed information? You could go to HEB.com and there will be a link on there for Feast of Sharing. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for being in our studios today, David. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now it's time to send things back over to our chief meteorologist, Chase Menendez, for another look at that forecast.